Hey, Walt here from WaltonPA.com as well as StogieReview.com with another Shooting the Breeze video. And uh, much like the previous videos that you've seen on my personal blog, uh, I decided to, to go the route of guns once again uh, because I've gotten such good feedback and uh, just interesting discussion topics from those videos. I thought I would continue on and do a couple of more gun videos until I run out, at which point I'll either need to convince my wife that I should buy more or uh, or go another route and discuss more gun related things you know some some things I have around the house accessories holsters things like that so uh, you know I was kinda sitting back wondering you know which gun do I want to talk about next uh, I've got a couple more and they're all equally interesting as far as I'm concerned so uh, the other day I was I was sitting at work my lunch break was just winding down and uh, I had I had browsed all the forums and, and blogs and things and, and news sources that I normally do, and I was just completely bored. So I decided to hop on over to budsgunshop.com uh, and I'd just take a look at what, uh, what guns were out there and what the pricing was on them. And for whatever reason, I decided to look at 22s. And as I started looking around at different models and different manufacturers, I, I, sent, uh, I sent a little question to Twitter asking my followers what 22 they had if any and what they thought of it and i wound up, wound up getting a lot of responses and uh, they were all really interesting lots of different models and makes from different manufacturers and uh, it, it kept me busy i was hopping around for the last few minutes at lunch you know looking at all these different weapons and uh i really wasn't in the market i was just kind of bored and interested in seeing what I could buy had, you know, if I were in the market for another 22. And and that all of that discussion and and research led me to decide to go with uh, my first 22, which is actually isn't my first 22. It is my wife's first 22. Uh, it is her one and only uh, gun. And it was a Christmas gift that I bought for her a few years ago. Uh, if you remember back in the back in my first pistol video where I featured the Beretta Model 70S, I had mentioned that my wife and I took a class, uh, an NRA basic p pistol safety class, and uh, basically it was a few hours of classroom instruction and then a few hours of actual on the range time, uh, hands-on experience. And it was a class where you needed to provide your own gun. Uh, my wife and I took the class at the same time and I only had one gun at the time. And uh, I was perfectly content with trading off the gun during the hands-on portion, but uh, the instructor said, no, it, it, that's not a problem. You know, I've got a couple of guns, and I'll be more than happy to bring one for your wife. Um, I didn't have a 22 or a 32 or anything smaller than the 380, that, uh, something with less recoil. And uh, so we go, we go to the class, and the instructor brings along uh, a Beretta Neos, and uh, she brought uh, sort of like a cowboy action 22. It was a uh, single action, uh, big long barrel, probably held six or eight rounds. And, uh, you know, my, my wife got to use both. And my wife kind of fell in love with the Beretta. And uh, she, she talked about it for weeks after we took that class. So when Christmas rolled around, I decided to go out and get her one. So I went to a local gun shop. Uh, they didn't have one. I had him order it. And uh, he remarked that it looked like a space gun in the catalog, and we kind of laughed. And uh, probably a week later, I was at the shop again picking up the gun and, and taking it home. And... Uh, What I got was everything in this little plastic case that says uh, Neos on it. And uh, what you get inside is uh, a target pistol, some instructions, a gun lock, uh, an empty chamber indicator, and an extra magazine. So basically, this is what you get for your money. Now, the... The gun comes in a, a couple of different varieties. Uh, I, I think you can get the, the grip panels in different colors. Uh, you, you can get, I think it's a stainless steel finish on the slide. Uh, I, I went with an all black model, uh, blued finish. Nothing overly fancy. Uh, it was my wife's first gun, and I didn't know how serious she was going to get into the hobby. And, and I knew she was very happy with uh, the Beretta that she shot, so obviously I went out and bought one. 
So uh, this is what you've got. Uh, they come in a couple of different barrel lengths. I got the six inch barrel for my wife. And uh, basically what you're looking at is is a uh, target pistol more or less that uh, takes 22, 22 long rifle. Now, uh, this gun has an ambidextrous safety. You can see it here. It's on both sides. Uh, slide lock is on this side. The ejection, or the, the magazine release lever is over here on the right side where um, a lot of the pistols I have, you operate it with your thumb. Uh, with this, in this case, you pretty much operate it with your index finger, at least I always do since it's right here. There's a, a knob and a button for the take down, the barrel comes off, the, the whole thing just kind of comes apart. Um, these, these guns were recalled, and actually this is a recall model that I have yet to send in. And um, the reason they were recalled was the, the formation of the the firing pin has sort of like a, a concave cut in it and uh, from what I hear if, if it's loaded or if it's cocked and it's dropped really hard or it's slammed there's uh, there's a possibility that the the firing pin could break free and, and cause the the gun to go off um, it's unlikely however there is a possibility so the the gun is being recalled uh, Beretta takes care of everything you just go onto their website and punch in the serial number serial number serial number to make sure that it is a recall model you can print off uh, a call ticket or shipping label and uh, UPS will come to your house pick it up take it away for you and uh, free of charge bring it back whenever bread is finished uh, the only reason why I'm delaying in, in getting it done is because from from all the things that I'm hearing Breda has it for quite some time uh, a, a few months uh, to, to interchange that simple to make that simple switch to, to pop out the, the firing pin which which comes right out when you when you disassemble it to clean it uh, it is definitely something that I'm, um, that I'm capable of doing however uh, because it's a warranty fix I don't think they will send me just the firing pin so when when the weather starts getting cooler and I know I won't miss it I'll send it away and, and Beretta will fix it uh, my wife she hasn't shot in in quite some time uh, when when she, we first learned that she was pregnant she she kind of stepped away from the whole range thing and uh, didn't want to be around the cracking loud noises and things like that when she was pregnant and we haven't gotten a chance to go over together since my daughter was born and my daughter's turning one this month so it's been quite a while since my wife has been out I'd, I'd like to get out with her again and do some more shooting but uh, it's been kind of tough with with scheduling and having a baby and all but uh, anytime I go over the range by myself, I take the, the Beretta Neos 22 along with me. Uh, just because it's a lot of fun to shoot, it is dirt cheap to shoot as well. I think a brick of, of uh, Federal 22 is less than $20, and it's something like 550 rounds. So uh, you can shoot it all day long. There's no recoil. It is, uh, it's accurate. It's fun to shoot, and uh, it's a blast. Uh, the only thing I really don't like about this gun is the front sight post is massive. Um, you know, close range shooting is nice and it's fun and all, but I, I kind of like to, to get back a little ways, 15, 20 yards, and, and have a little fun there as well. But when you start getting back further, the bullseye disappears in the front sight post because of how big it is. I don't know whether I'll be able to make the camera focus, but uh, the, the front sight post is kind of wide and uh, the target kind of disappears in it and really this is the only thing i don't like about it it's comfortable comfortable in the hand it shoots well it's fun uh it's got an accessory rail you can you can mount a, a red dot sight uh scope if you like but uh for now we don't have any of that uh, any of the accessories to go along with it uh, it is definitely something I want to do at some point in time but uh, I'm in no real rush to do it uh, the funds the, the gun is just as fun you know as is uh, the other thing about this gun is it's got a lot of sharp lines. Uh, back here, on the back of the slide, I remember when I was taking it apart to clean it last. Uh, I went to take it apart and I ended up wound up stabbing myself and, and got a pretty nasty cut on the back of my hand, just you know breaking it down. So uh, there are some sharp edges. I wouldn't want to get caught on myself again. But. Uh, really fun I enjoy shooting it my wife enjoys shooting it and uh, 
if I had to do it all over again, I would definitely buy another. I would definitely buy another Beretta Neos. Um, I, I'm kind of am in the market for a, a 22. Uh, I, I do shoot my wife's whenever possible, but uh, I kind of would like to get one for myself. And and in looking around, doing that little bit of research on that lunch break of mine, uh, I, I've kind of got my eye on uh, on a Ruger. Um, they're they're not wildly expensive, and the other possibility is maybe uh, Smith and Wesson. I think it's a 22A, and the only reason I'm looking at the the Smith and Wesson is because of uh of having a smith and wesson m&p and being extremely happy with it um you know that brand loyalty is kind of kicking in and um you know i i kind of want to stay with smith and wesson smith and wesson but at the same time i hear lots of great things about ruger and uh and i don't mind spreading the love around i've got beretta smith and wesson Spr uh, springfield xd and uh I don't mind spreading it around, but uh, you know I've just been really happy with the Smith and Wesson lately, so that the brand name is kind of stuck in my head when it go when it comes time to look at, at other models. But uh, there you have it. That is a quick little video on my wife's first 22, the uh, Beretta Neos in 22 long rifle. And uh, at the end of these videos, I generally pose a question, and this time around, I want to hear about your your first 22 or your only 22 or, or one of your 22s now uh, just tell me about a 22 that you shoot or enjoy shooting if you don't own one and uh you know fill the comment section with all that comment love that you've been sharing as of late so uh until next time happy smoking my cigar has been going out I've been doing a little too much talking uh happy shooting and i will catch you later